to be resilient know what's in your heart have that goal and when you have that goal no one can tell you anything different because that's what you believe in even though life is very unpredictable at times and there's so many obstacles i want to do everything in my power just to get closer to this dream welcome to the bruins on deck edition of the resilience to brilliance podcast I was really bummed when I hurt myself and I feel like I lost a sense of who I was and like what I was going to do. So taking six months off is just, like I said, unheard of in the gymnastics world and trying to get ready in two months. It's insane. You just, you got to get out of bed and you got to try. It seems like the bare minimum, but the fact that you even are trying really is a big deal and you should be really proud of yourself. Can you lean into that for me and help me to understand what you mean by that? I just have to remember, I have to give myself credit because no one just is lucky to be on this team. You've really earned it. If you don't believe in something, then it's going to be easy for someone to convince you otherwise. Nothing just happens by chance. I don't believe that. Again, anyone struggling, just stay the course. Finding my inner confidence. And so that's kind of what I had to tap into when it was time to raise my arms and salute. I can do it. That is when I showed um, resilience. And our senior class is incredibly resilient. Just thinking about all of them, injury-wise, school-wise, they're so smart. There's so much inspiration everywhere. Appreciating every moment that I'm in the gym. It's not a given that I get to be with my team every day. It's not a given that I can flip every day. Knowing that someone has watched my story and having that support and that belief in me, that gave me the confidence to, yeah, just, just to try. 